Hey everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, and I'm here now with part two of what I'm calling the Pimp My Trailer videos. Um, first one, we installed a, uh, a bike work stand. Next, we're gonna be dealing with the bike storage. And I built this pretty quickly when we first got the trailer, but there have been a number of problems with it. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the bike stand that I built. And I built it because this is just what I had on hand and I need to do it quick. I built it out of half inch plywood. So the first problem is that it's kind of flimsy and you know the bikes kind of rock a bit, even though it's half inch plywood. So I'm gonna rebuild it with three quarters so it'll be a little sturdier. Second problem with this thing is I can only load it from one side. I can only get to the bikes from here. And inevitably, it's my bike that I always want and it has to be on the back because it's slightly bigger. And so then I've gotta remove two bikes to get one bike out and it's very particular and I'm always banging pedals and scratching up. No good. So I don't like only loading the thing from one side. And the third and final problem are the wheels go way back in there. And so I've got to like be very careful not to scratch anything up. And then to like tighten them up, I got to thread, it's, it's a mess. So I bit the bullet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a slide out bike tray. You've seen these in other people's vans. Now I'm going to build one. So I've already got the key piece that we're going to need for that. It's in the shop. This is a massive set, holy wow, of drawer slides. They weigh every bit of 35 pounds. They're rated for 500 pounds, so I'll be able to do cartwheels on this thing. And they're five feet long, so I should be able to get the whole bike all the way out of the trailer. These are kind of the key piece for this whole thing. Um, and once I've got these, I'm free to go ahead and design my, my bike tray. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the old one out of there and then uh, ponder how I wanna build the new one. All right, what I've done so far is I've made these, uh, these two rails on the side here, and these are screwed directly into the floor of the trailer with pocket screws, and you can see those there. And then I have attached the enormously heavy drawer slides to them. I don't have any plan, I'm just making this up as I go. So now I can take my measurement, see how much distance I have between the drawer slides, because I knew I wanted this much space on, on this side, and then we're gonna build some sort of a tray. So I've got the box built, pre-finished plywood. It slides in and out, more or less. I'm just trying to get the last few screws attached on the drawer slides. But that's how it's looking so far. So last night, I kind of made this sort of prototypey, hacky thing. And this was sort of one, one, one idea I had for wheel storage. And the idea is that it just would kind of sit on the wall and then, you know, you just drop the wheel in like that, ta-da. And it's not gonna bounce that high to get out while we're going down the road. But then I got to thinking, that's, that's a lot of weight I'm gonna be adding to the trailer. And then I'd still have to come up with some sort of mounting cleat or something to get it to stay on the trailer wall. So then I started looking at wheel bags because that's how cyclists normally carry wheels, to put them in a wheel bag. And I was looking and looking, I wanted a square one because I wanted a man. And then I thought, wait a minute, I kind of know how to sew. I can make wheel bags. So this morning I got up and I made these wheel bags. So the wheels will just fit in here and well, it'll be mounted. And I won't even have to take the quick release off. It'll just fit in there like that and stay on the side of the wall of the trailer. And presto, through the magic of video, I am now finished. Let me show you what I came up with. Here we have the new and improved Fit RV bike storage. Now, it locks into place for travel. I've got this little, uh, just like a gate lock here, window lock. So even though it was only gonna go like a half inch before it hit the door, I kind of locked it in place so that it wouldn't go banging about. Now, I got, the, I got the tray on these massive drawer slides, and one thing I'm gonna have to get used to and make a habit of is to only open the tray with the door locked in the all the way open position. If I don't do that, as I found out the hard way, I'll start to chew up the rubber stripping here on the door. So, now the tray just uh, slides right on out. All the way out to there. So, 
What I really like about this is now I can just access both bikes directly from the side and I can put them right on there. I don't have to worry about, you know, worming one in if I only want one bike or the other. Now, the wheels, you'll notice the wheels are not on this sliding tray at all. I did, in fact, make the wheel bags and they just slip in here. Now, these wheel bags are on sort of cleats that run the, the length of the trailer and both of them just fit in there like that. So I don't have to try to tighten the skewer. I can just leave the skewers on. I made the bags big enough so that I could do that. And notice, one thing I was worried about is that with the tray out, I might tip the trailer. But even with the trailer empty, I mean, it's light in the front, but it's not tipping. So I'm pretty happy with that. It goes away just as easily as it came out. And we're good to go. Now that's going to do it for this week's little pimp my trailer thing. Next one, I've got some more organization accessories coming, some organized OB stuff that should be getting here in the next week or so. And so that'll be the final round of the pimp my trailer and then we'll be ready to roll for this summer's biking. It's James from the Fit RV. We'll see you later. Bye.